Hi everyone, this is Danette, interpretive artist for Summit Metro Parks. And I don't know if you've heard, but toilet paper has been making the headlines. So I thought, hmm, let's create a toilet paper tube challenge, which is what we're going to do right now. Each week I'm going to present to you a different project using toilet paper tubes to create some amazing things. Our first project is this raccoon right here, which is super fun because raccoons love to eat garbage and we're creating them out of garbage. How fun is that? Now, I want to let you know right now that this is not just for kids. I want to see what the grown-ups can do with toilet paper tubes as well. Now, I'm going to give you the directions on how to create it, how to make it look like this, but the best part is going to be how you finish it off, how you embellish it, what you use. You can use paint or glue or stickers or markers or glitter or crazy colors, whatever you want. I want you to be as creative as possible. Then you're going to um, post your photos with the hashtag at home in nature so that I can see them. And every week I'm going to present a different project. So I'm super excited. I hope to see amazing things from you. I'm sure that I will. So stay healthy, good luck, and I hope to see you and your projects soon. All right, so here's the directions for our first toilet paper tube challenge, the raccoon. Now the things that you're gonna need are a pair of scissors, hole punch if you have one, if you don't, don't worry, um, something to draw with, an X-Acto blade if you have one of those as well. If not, you can just use tape. You're also gonna need two toilet paper tubes for this project. The first one you're going to take and you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to press down in the center forming these two peaks on the end which will end up being the ears for our raccoon. Then you're going to take the scissors and you're going to cut two small snips right in the front, bend it back, and there you have the legs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That one's done. We're going to put that one to the side. Now the second toilet paper tube, you have to smash down on the table, really smash it in front of you. Then you're going to cut it in half and you're going to cut it in half again or one half in half again. So anyways, this is what you're going to end up with. It's going to look like this. Okay. The big half is going to become the tail, that iconic stripedy tail. And the other two are going to become the mask and the hands. So we're going to work on the hands first. Did you know that raccoons have five digits on their each hand, but no opposable thumb like you and I? That means they cannot open things or grab onto things like you and I do, but they can still open things like zippers on tents or garbage can lids, all without the benefit of that opposable thumb. Now, this is where I'm gonna give you artistic license. You can add as many fingers as you want. Three, four, five, it is up to you, whatever you're comfortable cutting out. So on that first small section of toilet paper tube, you're gonna keep it nice and folded, and you're gonna draw some nice pointy fingers on there. I've drawn five, but again, you draw as many as you're comfortable with. You're going to cut them out, doo -doo 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 -doo, holding that toilet paper tube nice and firm so that you get two for the price of one. You're going to open it up and you're going to cut along that fold and you will end up with two super cute little hands and arms. Okay. The next one we're going to use is the small toilet paper tube uh, section and we're going to cut the mask out of it. Now this is going to be tricky and all I can do is show you this is what you need to draw on the toilet paper tube. There are a set of diagonal lines. This one forms the top peaks. This one down here forms the mush. And I chose to use the hole punch right in the center for the eye. If you don't have a hole punch, then you can just draw the eye on with markers or crayons or whatever. So once you've cut it out and open it up, you're going to draw in these two additional shapes here. That's for the mush and the nose. Okay, that'll help you when it comes to coloring yours. Now the next one part is the tail. And you're going to cut this one in half and then you're going to lay it out flat in front of you. 
Okay, you're gonna fold it in half, really, really flattening it down, and then you're gonna draw on it a really long oval shape but include a tab on the end of it. That's how it's gonna stick to the body. So we have to make sure we have a tab there. So a nice elongated oval tail with a tab. You cut it out and it'll end up looking something like this. Okay. Now to attach, this is where the X-Acto blade comes in. Now this one I've already drawn where you're gonna cut with the X-Acto blade. Below each point of the ear, you're going to make a nice slit down to about an inch from the bottom on both sides. These are the slits that are going to hold the hands and the mask. The back, you're just going to cut a slit from about an inch up, however wide your tab is right there. When you go to insert, you simply take the hands you press them into each slot on the side. The mask, same thing. Now remember, if you don't have that exact though, you can simply tape these on. Okay, and then the tail gets inserted right there. Okay, now he's ready for embellishing. Now remember, this is the part where you are going to have fun and you're going to show your creativity. And I can't wait to see them. And remember, post them on At Home in Nature um, so I can see them. All right. Thanks. Have a great day and good luck with the challenge.